Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today, I'm joining you from another one of our state forests. It's Tar Hollow State Forest, which is located just to the east of Chillicothe. Today, I'd like to introduce you to basswood or American basswood, and the scientific name is Tilia americana. I'm on an east facing slope here. Um, it's pretty steep. Normally, this species is on a north or east facing slope in the hook country. It is found statewide in Ohio, but it likes fairly moist or mesic sites. So you're going to find it oftentimes with things like sugar maple or yellow poplar and maybe some American beech. But again, it's American basswood. Basswood is a species that has alternate leaf arrangements. So you'll see these leaves, which are growing on this zigzag twig, tend to alternate sides. So that's a great ID characteristic. Again, alternate. They're fairly large leaves. Um, they can be about five to six inches in length. They're somewhat heart-shaped, but they're not an even base at all. So they're an unequal or an asymmetrical base, but they're heart-shaped and they have teeth, fairly sharp teeth around the perimeter of the leaf. The leaf veins are kind of palmate. So all the veins on the leaf join together right at the base where it intersects with the petiole. So again, fairly large leaf, five to six inches in length, somewhat heart-shaped, but definitely off balanced or asymmetrical with lobes at the base, kind of like a heart, and then it'll have relatively sharp teeth around the edge of the leaf or margin. And again, they are alternate in arrangement. Those leaves are born on zigzag twigs. These are still green. They've got very um, neat buds. They're rounded, usually two or maybe three bud scales exposed. And they're usually kind of swollen on one side. You're gonna get kind of a parents like that. Uh, they tend to stay somewhat green and some folks do like to actually taste these things. They kind of taste like green peas um, and if you chew on those buds they're very mucilaginous so you'll get a mouthful of slobber if you chew on them. So again alternate leaf arrangement buds with two maybe three visible bud scales. Uh, they're very round greenish and kind of if you chew on them they taste a lot like peas and they're somewhat mucilaginous. So that's a, a characteristics of the twig. The flowers I rarely see, but they're gonna be in clusters. And I'm reaching down here to try to find all the seed pods that are on the ground right now. It's actually uh, July 12th, and these things are hitting the ground a little bit prematurely. They're gonna be born on these leafy structures, and the flowers would be pendulate hanging off of those in clusters, kind of yellowish in color. But right now they're prematurely aborting these um, leafy bracts and you can see the fruits. The fruits are actually a round nutlet. They're gonna get up to about a quarter inch in diameter and they're born right at the center of this leafy structure in clusters that hang down from this uh, leafy bract. And then finally the bark tends to have vertical streaks in it. Um, they'll tend to have kind of flattened ridges but some vertical streaks in it. You're often going to have multiple stems, um, so it's not uncommon at all for even a large stem like this to have multiple stems on it. And then one of the ID characteristics, which I always thought was neat, is if you knock on it, and I doubt you can hear that, but it sounds somewhat hollow. It's a really light wood, not a lot of grain appearance to it, but the wood is used for carving of decoys and things like that. So again, this is American basswood, Tilia americana. Thank you so much for your time, and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.